Human activity produces CO2 above all. It's the most significant greenhouse gas because its production is connected to coal, oil, and natural gas combustion, which represent 80 to 85 percent of the energy we produce to address our various needs on the scale of the planet. This is, of course, colossal in terms of its impact on the climate. CO2 is also responsible for over half of the greenhouse effect. Estimations vary between 50 and 80 percent, depending on what is actually taken into consideration, so it's truly massive. But it isn't the only greenhouse gas. There's also methane, which is produced by anaerobic fermentation in waste treatment centers, rice fields, ruminants, and also produced by the gas industry, since methane is natural gas. This gas is not burned, it's left to spread into the atmosphere, where it produces a considerable greenhouse effect. Then there are nitrogen oxides, such as nitrous oxide and freons. The ones which were destroying the ozone layer have been replaced by other freons. All of them produce a greenhouse effect and remain in the atmosphere for hundreds, sometimes even thousands of years. A collection of gases, therefore, causes the greenhouse effect, some of which are the direct consequence of human activities which were until then foreign in the atmosphere.